Hey Art Club Kids! This tutorial will take you step by step through how to paint your section of the Art Club Op Art Mural. You'll need your section of the mural, your paints, a variety of paintbrushes, a cup for water, some paper towel, and some palette paper to mix your paints on. The brushes seen here are the ones that I'm going to be using in my video. So I like to use a flat top brush, an angle, and then a small detail one that I'm going to be using for the black lines. There were so many art club kids that wanted to be a part of our mural that we were actually doing two different mural panels. This is mural one and mural two, and each of the murals are divided into 13 equal parts. Each of you have one of the parts that you're going to be painting. Our goal is when we put all of the parts together for each of the panels, they look like they naturally flow together. This means when we're working on each of our own individual pieces, we wanna try and get the colors as accurate as possible. Use the small color guide as a reference as you're painting your own piece. Okay, let's get started. So you'll see in the panel that I'm working on for the tutorial video, I've already painted that bottom portion. You'll also notice that my highlight in the painting is much brighter than it is in the color guide. I want to encourage each of you to push your highlights to make them a little brighter than they are in the color guide, um, and that will help make each of the tubes look like they're more three-dimensional. The paint that we're using is a little bit on the thin side, so we're going to need multiple layers in order to cover the canvas. So we're going to start painting by blocking in our values. Through each of the middle of each tube, there is going to be a highlight. So I started by doing a light blue through the middle of that nice big fat tube at the top. Now I'm taking a medium blue and going over the light blue. So I have like my medium value kind of wrapping around to the edges. And then I'm going to build my darker value, my darkest blue right along the baseline. Don't get too obsessed or concerned with how blended it looks right now. It probably will look a little bit streaky, but just remember we're laying down that base layer um, of our paint. Notice that I'm only using a small amount of paint at a time. So a big mistake new painters make is mixing up tons of paint and then not using it. You only need to mix in small batches um, as you go along. Once my base layer has dried, I can go on now with a second coat of paint. Using my flat tip brush, I'm starting to feather in some uh, really light blue, even some white, right on top through the middle of that highlight. Then I'm doing a wet into wet technique where I'm taking the medium blue and starting to blend that in into the white. So I'm starting to kind of take that transition from the dark to the medium and the light and make it a little bit more smooth. That smoothness comes easier when you're blending two colors of paint together when the paint is still wet. Acrylic paint dries very quickly, so you want to work in small sections. You'll also notice that I'm pretty much painting right over my Sharpie lines. That's totally fine. At the end, I'm going to go back and paint those lines in with black paint to give it that sectiony feel. I can still see the black lines um, as I was painting, so it didn't mess me up at all. So if you need to paint over those black lines, go right ahead and do that. So as I'm working, I'm adding more detail, I'm feathering those paints together, um, just trying to create nice, um, cool transitions from color to color. And remember that everyone's painting style is gonna look a little bit different, and I think that will be pretty cool. We just wanna try and make sure that the color is accurate and that each of the tubes has a three-dimensional feel. So it has that nice highlight down the center, medium tones all wrapping around the sides, and then that shadowy tone down by the black line. Once your paints have completely dried, you're going to use your detail brush and your black paint, and now you're going to start to add in those black lines to create the sections of the tube. Slow and steady is definitely going to win the race here. You've just spent a lot of time creating and painting that beautiful art tube, so you want to use a nice steady hand, a small brush, and then take your time as you paint each of those lines. You can watch here as I start to paint now this last pink tube. It's a little bit smaller, it's a different color, um, and so you can see how I do the same transitions um, now just with a different color. So I go through the same steps, blocking in my colors, my lights, my mediums, my darks, 
Once that sets, I start to add in more detail, start blending the colors in, wet into wet, brighter highlight through the top, um, and it kind of all comes together in the end. And then when it sets, I'll go back in and add those black lines. So just watch this um, last part of the video. I think it will really help you, especially if you don't have a lot of painting experience. For those upperclassmen, they might not need um, to watch it, but anyone who hasn't really painted before, I think it's definitely a great idea. You can always go back in at the end and add any little details or colors you might have forgotten. So here I went in and dry brushed a little extra green and some purple to finish off my section. And there you have it, all done. Looking forward to seeing everybody's section and can't wait to put them all together to make one beautiful art club mural. See you next time.